hungry as I stand before you today as an education worker and a uh, NIPSA rep in education, day and daily. Thank you, Maria. Coming as I'm a PCS representative, and let me say how good it is to see so many of you here today in pursuit of a fair pay bill for everyone. Just this Wednesday past, PCS members in Northern Ireland and across the UK took very successful strike action in our pursuit of a fair pay bill for our members. PCS members are determined that the fight for a fair pay bill will continue until we remove the unjust and unfair pay cap of 1% which was imposed by this Tory government. In 2010, the Tory government imposed a pay freeze on the civil service affecting our PCS members. This was followed in 2012 by a 1% cap on pay increase in the civil service, which is still in place today. The Office of National Statistics last week showed that civil servants in low to mid-ranking positions have received only a 2.05% pay increase since 2010. This is disgraceful. PCS members are struggling day and daily to make ends meet. PCS estimates with increased pension contributions and the cost of living increases that many civil servants will actually have suffered a 20% cut in real terms to their income by next year. PCS would demand that the public support us in a campaign to close the tax gap. We need investment in HM revenue and customs to tackle the tax avoiders and the tax avoidance, and those staff deserve to be paid a proper wage. In response to our strike action this week, Jeremy Hayward, the head of the civil service, blogged that we all have difficult decisions to make on pay. This man earns £300,000 per year, whilst many of our members earn less than £20,000 per year. Jeremy, it is very easy to talk about decisions when you're earning £300,000. Jeremy probably has to decide where his next holiday might be, while our members are deciding which decisions they have to cut back on, or which decisions they can be without. We hear reference being made to the working poor. A large number of our members are the working poor. Many of our members rely on benefits to make ends meet. Many of our members receive child tax credit and working tax credits due to their low income, and they rely on these very benefits to feed their children or heat their homes. We in PCS are not seeking anything unreasonable. All we are asking for on behalf of our hardworking members is a fair pay day. And this is something everyone is entitled to. I know we are here today to talk about pay. However, I think it would be a mess of me not to mention our PCS comrades in Newry and HM Revenue Customs who were informed on Thursday that their office will close next year and that 90 staff will probably lose their jobs. I would like this opportunity to send a message of solidarity to all those PCS members in Newry. Comrades, keep fighting. We in PCS and the wider community. We will fight with you. We will fight the austerity agenda and we will say no to this office closure and to all office closures in the civil service. Comrades, we need to send out a very clear signal today from this rally to the Tories in Westminster and to the politicians in Stormont who are making the Tory cuts. This is only the start of our campaign for fair pay. We need to leave here together, united, organised and campaigning for fair pay. If that does not succeed, we must consider joint industrial strike action. Thank you, comrades.